right, let's get more mind shocking. Cindy Barker, 5220. Report date, May 27th, 99. Cindy Barker went to Columbine Library and allegedly saw one of the subjects who advised he had graduated from Columbine High School last year and that he was coming back on April 20th, 1999 to initiate the incident. This individual also had a website, rebel.com. Stephanie Bressy was also present with Barker at Columbine Library. Interview Cindy Barker regarding her contact with one of the CHS shooting subjects at the Columbine Library. Barker was interviewed on May 25th, 1999 at her residence in the presence of her mother. Barker told me she has no knowledge of the information contained within the, le within the lead sheet. She said Stephanie Brissy, who was also with her at the library following the shooting, might have further. Barker was in fifth hour PE class at the time of the shooting started. She was outside the gym doors in the hallway. She recalls that Mr. DeAngelis directed them into the gym. She recalls seeing smoke in the hall and that students hid in an equipment closet for 10 or 15 minutes. Then they went out the back gym doors and ran into the park. After that, they went to the Columbine Library. No further information. Weird. So apparently, so there's a lot of these... Wow, so there's a lot of these initial reports, and then when they're followed up on, all of a sudden people forget stuff. Huh. This is a Columbine High School Task Force document. That's so weird. That is so weird. Did someone get to her? <laughs>